Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement, where church, house of prayer, healing rooms, prophecy rooms, it's all down here in South Florida. If you can't come in person, come online, ahop.online. Amen. God is good. I'm the founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network. We are tapping into prophetic potential together. The company of Sears, the original Ignite, people are seeing, hearing, and saying at greater levels underneath this canopy, this banner of Ignite. Amen. God is good. It's all about the synergies, guys. It's all about the synergies. I want to remind you of that remnant webinar. Registration is going to have to shut down. If you didn't sign up for it, now is the time. Don't wait. It starts on Monday. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. You got to get it on it now. Stop waiting to the last minute, guys. You're missing out on good stuff when you wait to the last minute. I break that spirit of procrastination in Jesus' name. Amen. Seems like we're here on lockdown. We still don't have enough time in the day to get everything done. Isn't that the truth? Help us, Lord, to prioritize. Today's devotion titled, Prophesy to the Dry Bones. Yabashoramashabashiribosha. Prophesy to the dry bones. Come on, I'm reading from Victory Decrees. Daily prophetic strategies for spiritual warfare victory. Prophesy to the dry bones. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Prophesy to the dry bones in your life. Prophesy the resurrection of the dead things. Those things the enemy killed. Prophesy the rekindling of the fire that once burned brighter inside of you before the onslaught of spiritual warfare. Prophesy that your ladder shall be greater than your past. Prophesy to the wind. Prophesy to yourself. Prophesy out loud so your faith in what I say about you rises with every word you utter. Prophesy. Oh, we're going to get heated up today. Somebody better share this now. Ezekiel 7, 1 through 14, Job 8. 8, 7 Psalm 116 verse 10 are the scripture references for today meditate on those things amen in Jesus name and the prayer starter and the decree the prayer starter and the decree father give me the words to speak to the dry bones in my life so I can prophesy rightly help me not to get discouraged in the face of the situations that seem dead I decree every dry bone of my life is rustling and resurrecting by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare my prophetic utterances bring life to dire circumstances in Jesus name Oh father we thank you this morning we give you praise and honor and glory because you are good and you are great and you prophesy life over us we thank you Lord that you are with us to speak words of life your words are spirit and they are life your words are spirit and they are life your words are spirit and they are life so we give you praise and we give you honor we thank you Lord for who you are today you are our defender the great defender shield our rear guard you go around us surround us you're all about us all around us surround us all about us all around us us, surround us we thank you Lord that your favor surrounds us like a shield oh how true that scripture is if you just knew if you just had a clue if you could just see in the spirit how the Lord's favor is like a shield around you I said when your enemies come against you to lie on you all of the sudden the favor of the Lord begins to cover you like a shield and the lies and the accusations oh they bounce off that shield of favor oh I thank you Lord that you position us in front of mankind through the eyes of favor I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord that everybody who comes in contact with us just desires to bless us because your favor surrounds us like a shield oh I can't even tell you I can't even describe it I just experienced this somebody lying somebody accusing somebody making up stuff up about me and all of a sudden the Lord's favor surrounded me like a shield and it all blew up in the enemy's face it all blew, just blew up right in the enemy's face I thank you Lord that the devil by no means shall harm us that his weapons shall by no means prosper against us I thank you Lord that your favor surrounds us like a shield I decree favor over your life I decree that everything you put come on I'm prophesying to you now why don't you just lift up your hands and receive 
receive it. I prophesy that everything you put your hands to is going to prosper because God supplies all of your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I prophesy to the dry bones in your life and I command them to live again, sinew upon sinew, bone on bone, skin over the bones in the name of Jesus. I prophesy resurrection power is working in you, prophesying that resurrection power is working for you. I decree that no power working against you can overcome and supersede the resurrection power of God that is dwelling on the inside of you. I just wish three people would shout amen. Don't you understand what's happening here? It's called a sea shift. It's called a turning point. It's called a change for the better. A brighter day is coming. Hold on to hope. Hold on to hope. Hold on to hope. Hold on to hope. The Bible says Abraham hoping against hope. He hoped against hope and looked hopeless. It didn't look like he'd ever have the son of promise. Oh, that promise was eluding him. Just like the promised land 400 years later or so, however long it was, eluded the Israelites. They didn't think they would ever enter the promised land. They walked around in that wilderness place for 40 years. They didn't think they'd ever see the promise. And then when they finally saw the land, it was not only flowing with milk and honey, it was overrun with giants, Canaanites and Hittites and pa- pa- paras- parasites. Oh, Jesus. The Lord shows me some of you have had parasites leeching onto you. But that resurrection power on the inside of you will not let them get in you. Oh, the enemy wants you to be infected. The enemy wants you to be uh, infiltrated. The enemy wants you to be penetrated with parasites so that you can act just like your accusers, so that you can walk just like the wicked ones that came against you. But the Lord would say to you today, allow my favor to surround you like a shield and do not step outside of my grace, says the Lord. Do not step outside my love, says the Lord. Do not step outside my favor, says the Lord, for I am enveloping you with my goodness and my grace. And you will come to see and know that the battle isn't yours, but it's mine, says God. And when they put their mouth on you last time, you stood up for yourself and it didn't work out well. But the Lord says next time they put their mouth on you, you let my words fill your mouth instead of words of flesh and carnality. And you will see that things will change and turn in your favor. Walk with me and move with me live with me have your being in me put me on and keep me in mind says the Lord and you will see that my favor will surround you like a shield for the devil will come at you one way but he will flee seven ways when you do things my way but that is the hitch and that is the catch says the Lord you've got to do it my way you can't fight my battle your way because it's all my battle and you're my battle axe you are the one that I've sent to the front lines but it's still my battle you are my weapon of war but it's still my battle so I am fighting for you and I will fight through you says the Lord but you've got to do it my way you've got to wait for my voice you've got to seek my wisdom you've got to heed my counsel says the God says God the last time you tried it you did it your way and it didn't work out too well but the next time you try it you'll do it my way and it'll work out my way and it'll work out for your good says the Lord so just stand firm and don't move without my spirit don't move ahead of me don't move beyond the bounds of my grace don't move beyond the bounds of faith don't move beyond the bounds of my love but continue to do what is right in the eyes of my spirit as much as it depends on you walk in peace and walk in love and give me the rest Give me the wrongs. Give me the betrayals. Give me the things that have come into your life to act as parasites, to try to get in your heart and defile your anointing. For you will not move in a mixture, says the Lord. You will not move in a mixture. You will not move in a fountain that spews forth both bitter and sweet water. But you will prophesy with the purity. And you will prophesy with the holiness. And you will prophesy with a foundation and a motive of love. Because that is who I am to you. And although you've misstepped and made mistakes in past battles, although you've learned lessons you wish you didn't have to learn, you're stronger now and you're wiser now. And you're prepared to do it my way now. So don't go beyond the bounds of my love and don't go beyond the bounds of my grace and don't go beyond the bounds of faith. 
but understand the battle is mine every battle is mine even though it feels like yours it's really mine and you are my weapon of war and you are my battle axe and I will use you let me use you and you will see victory for you are an overcomer by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony you are more than a conqueror in me says the Spirit of God Jesus help us Lord to learn from our past mistakes help us Lord to see and know that our accusers are being motivated by a sinister force that we're not fighting flesh and blood would you help us Lord to see and understand what's really going on behind the veil would you open our eyes God and let us see that there's more for us than there are for the other side the devil's side the side of Jezebel and the side of Absalom and the side of Leviathan there's more with you you are creator God you are Elohim you are the one who makes a way out of no way the battle really is yours would you help us to see that today come on somebody needs to see that it changes your perspective it'll change your perspective it'll change your perspective sometimes I have to remind myself they think they're coming against me that devil thinks he's coming against me and in a way he is that person inspired by the devil they think they're coming against me and in a way they are but the Bible says as Jesus was so are we in the earth we're just little Christ's you know what Christians mean it means little Christ's Christ in us is the hope of glory Jesus said if they hated me they'll hate you we've got to stop taking it personally come on, I don't know who I'm talking to we've got to stop taking it personally we've got to stop taking it personally they're really not against us they're against the anointing they're anti anointing they are anti Christ they are anti I'm talking about these demon powers they don't care too much about you they just hate you because you look like Jesus in the spirit ah they just hate you because you look like Jesus in the spirit <laughs> the battle really is the Lord's when they come against you they're coming against Jesus come on now when they come against you they're coming against Jesus when they come against the bride they're coming against the bridegroom come on now the battle is the Lord's it doesn't mean you don't have to fight but you are his weapon of war you are his battle axe the battle is the Lord's every battle is the Lord's this whole epic battle is between good and evil we're just in the middle as ambassadors as ministers of reconciliation as evangelists preaching the good news as prophets prophesying to the dry bones shama shaba shekete come on the battle is the Lord's twice in scripture David understood it the battle is the Lord's Jehoshaphat understood it the battle is the Lord's do you understand it beloved it gives you courage it gives you strength when you understand that the battle is the Lord's they pick a fight with you they're picking a fight with Jesus those devils pick a fight with you they're picking a fight with Jesus I saw something as I was teaching my seer activation challenge course part two and I can't go into the whole thing right now but I was telling Prophet Vanessa last night you remember when Stephen was being stoned do you remember that he was just preaching the gospel man he was just doing what God called him to do and here come these people they want to kill him they want to stop him from doing the will of God there are some people who come in your life who are inspired by demons and they want to stop you from doing the will of God in your life they want to hold you back they want to waste your time they want to distract your heart they want to upset your soul with threats and lies and stones whatever those stones look like to you you know most of the time in scripture when we talk about Jesus we say Jesus is seated at the right hand of God is that accurate is that what your Bible says Jesus is seated at the right hand of God ever making intercession for us he ascended on high and took his position at the right hand of God Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father is that not right but when they stoned Stephen Stephen looked up hear me now when they stoned Stephen Stephen looked up and he gazed into heaven 
and he saw the Lord Jesus Christ and guess what the Lord Jesus Christ was not sitting down the Bible says that Jesus was standing up looking down at him I'm telling you the truth when you mess with the bride you are messing with the bridegroom Jesus took notice when Paul was when Stephen was being persecuted when Stephen was being stoned he was just trying to do the will of God he was just trying to obey the mandate on his life he was just trying to do what he knew to do he wasn't hurting anybody he was giving people the benefit of the doubt he was traveling here there and everywhere nobody was paying him he was laid down lover he was surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ and they picked up stones and they wanted to thwart the will of God it wasn't even as much about Stephen as it was the will of God I can't stand it when the enemy wants to stand in the way of the will of God and here was Stephen gazing up into heaven with the stones hitting him here there and everywhere I don't even think he felt the pain and the Bible says that Jesus was standing up looking down it got his attention oh it caused him to get up from that place where he was resting get up from that place where he was seated in that heavenly place then get up from that place get up from that throne and Jesus stood up Ah, come on if you could just understand it when they come against the bride they're coming against the bridegroom when they come against you they're coming against Jesus when they come against you they're coming against Jesus as Jesus was so are you in this world that's why you got to walk in peace that's why you got to walk in love you can't open a door to the devil you can't act just any way you want to act and think Jesus is going to stand up for you you might have to repent of some things I said you might have to repent of some things but God is good God is gracious God's not counting all your mistakes and saying well you didn't do this right and you said a wrong word here never mind you I'm not helping you I'm just gonna let the devil come in and devour you that's not our God that's not the right narrative that's not the right storyline the fire and brimstone preachers did the body of Christ a disservice sinners in the hand of an angry God that might have worked one time but the problem is we all think God's mad at us and we all think God's ready to plow us down if we make one mistake and that's a false narrative of Jesus the overarching narrative of the Bible is that God is good so good that he sent his only begotten son to walk the earth be tempted in every manner yet without sinning Pay the price for sin, raise again, seat at the right hand of the Father until he stands up. Father, would you help us today to stand up for you the way you stand up for us? To stand up for righteousness, to stand up for love, to stand up for peace, to stand up for joy. To be representatives of these things in the earth. To stop devouring one another, to stop biting one another, to stop suing one another. <laughs> Jesus. Help us to stop being Pharisees who are litigious. Help us, Lord, to walk in love. Help us, Lord, to follow your spirit, the leadership of your spirit. Help us, Lord, to see things the way that you see them so that we can react accordingly. When the enemy came against God in heaven and said, I will ascend, I will be like the Most High, I will, I will, I will. The Father didn't have a nervous break then and say, Oh! Oh, the devil's coming against me he's trying to dethrone me he's trying to take my place he's trying to be like me no he just cast him out of heaven catch that the father wasn't sitting on the throne going oh Jesus I don't know what we're gonna do now Holy Ghost do you got any ideas oh I can't believe the devil's attacking me I'm such a good God why is the devil attacking me no oh, you know what the father did he said you're out of here man you're out of here that's what you need to do instead of getting all upset and oh I know it's not easy instead of having a meltdown and lashing out you just need to cast the devil out cast out the scorner and the strife will cease cast out the scorner and the strife will cease cast out the scorner and the strife will cease father help us to walk like you walked to talk like you talked come on wait 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 and to war like you warred it is written Jesus prophesied to the devil come on when you're in warfare once you get that Bible out begin to prophesy scripture I'm not hearing from God I, I, I'm in so much warfare I, I, I can't prophesy yeah you can you pick up that Bible and you say devil it is written it is written 
You might come at me one way, but guess what, Joker? You're going to have to flee seven ways. Oh, you might have raised up a flood against me, but it is written. God's going to raise up a standard. Oh, you might be attacking me, but guess what? It is written that the battle belongs to the Lord. You might have formed a weapon against me, but guess what? It is written. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Oh, you might be wagging your tongue at me. You might be uh, uh, lying on me and accusing me, but it is written. Every tongue that's condemning me is going to be condemned. <laughs> oh, you might be trying to, to overburden me with cares and worries in the night, but it is written, cast your cares on him because he cares for me. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to walk in the word. I'm going to do what the word says, and I'm going to get what the word says I can have. I know who I am, and I know who my God is, and I will not be... Come on. The father wasn't sitting up in heaven having a heart attack, wondering what he was going to do because Satan was plotting against him. He just cast him out. Father, we thank you today that we can prophesy to the dry bones in our life. We can prophesy to the devils in our life like David prophesied to Goliath. Ah. Goliath prophesied to David, I'm going to have your head, you ruddy little boy. Who do you think you are? David prophesied back to Goliath and said, uh, yeah, you uncircumcised Philistine. I don't know who you think you are to defy the armies of the living God. But on this day, I will have your head, Joker. And so it was. The prophecy of the Lord Jesus Christ overcame and brought to nothing the prophecy of Goliath. The devil's prophesying over you more than you know. You want to prophesy back? Or are you just going to walk in fear? God will stand up for you. Jesus will stand up for you. When you're being persecuted, beloved, he takes notice. When you're being persecuted, beloved, he takes notice. He sees it. Jesus stood up. Ah. Shabashakatarabasha. Ketan, he's fighting for you. He's your advocate. Sheketere, boy, he's ever making intercession for you. Sharabara ketere, boy, he's with you. He's for you. He's good. Listen, let me just say this. This is going to set somebody free. Listen, 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 listen. God is not mad at you. God is not mad at you. He's not? Nope. He doesn't like everything we do, but he is not looking for reasons to punish you. That's a wrong narrative and it keeps you from standing up in confidence to resist the enemy's onslaught because somewhere in your mind you think you deserve it. No, I don't. Yes, you do. That's why you don't fight. Why would you not, why would you not fight unless you thought you brought it on yourself? I'm not talking to all of you, but I'm talking to some of you. Why wouldn't you resist the devil unless you thought you brought it on yourself? Guess what? Even if you brought it on yourself, God loves you. That's where repentance comes in. Keep prophesying over yourself. Keep prophesying life. Keep prophesying the love of God. Keep prophesying joy and peace. Keep prophesying faith and hope. Keep prophesying to the dry bones. Whatever you've been through, whatever you're going through, whatever attack you're enduring or sustaining. Let me tell you something. When the onslaught comes, God's not up there sleeping in a boat. He never sleeps or slumbers. He sees it. He stands up. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you give us the revelation of your goodness. Lord, strip us of every religious mindset that wants to convince us that you are mad at us, that one little mistake and we are done for, one wrong move and whack, you're going to bring us down at the knees. Help us, Lord, to write a new narrative, to enter into your storyline, which is love and grace. There's no excuse for sin. I'm not giving you an excuse to, to sin and act out. That's not what this is about. The reality is most of us are not hyper grace and would never go that way. Most of us have hyper condemnation. Just waiting for the Lord to decide we've gone too far. Help us, Lord, to stop trying to earn your love and just receive it. Freely you've given. Help us to receive freely. Help us to stop buying into the devil's storyline about who you are. And to read what Jesus said about you, Father. We love you, Lord. We thank you. We give you praise and we honor you. We adore you. Help us to love you more. Help us, Lord, to learn and grow in you and to learn of you, the knowledge of the holy, in Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Some of you need to go back and listen to that again. I'm going to ask you, please share it because I'm not able to. This is something everybody needed to hear. This was what I call a good call. Amen. This was a good broadcast. I need everybody to share this right now if it helped you. Share it in all your groups. People always sharing goofy stuff in, in my groups. <laughs> and this is something good to share, so please share it. Hallelujah. I want to tell you about a couple of exciting things, guys. First of all, if this helped you today, would you consider sewing? I want to put a big boost on this post. And beyond that, we have a lot of other expenses, obviously, in the ministry. And if this ministry is helping you, would you consider the invitation to sew? You can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can become a partner there. You can sow a one-time seed there. It's all the different ways you can give are there at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. We would appreciate it. We do need your support. On yesterday, I was aware that my brand new book came out, Your End Times Prayer Secret. And, uh, it says it came out April 9th, but it didn't really. That was just the date they submitted it. It came out yesterday, went live yesterday. And you can get your copy on my website or on Amazon, Your End Times Prayer Secret. We are in the end times, guys. Your End Times Prayer Secret. It just went live yesterday. And uh, again, it's on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle immediately. You can order it in paperback. Your End Times Prayer Secret. Uh, this... Uh, was birthed out of the 90 day transformed spirit prayer challenge. But the 90 day spirit prayer challenge is 90 days of content. We're on day 80. Um, this is a book that has a lot of other information besides that discern the prophetic ways that the earth is groaning. Talk about the earth is groaning and some of the signs of the times and how to pray supernatural prayers. And there's some uh, prayers and decrees in there for you as well. So you should take transform the 90 day spirit prayer challenge. If you can, the book is not the same. It was inspired by it. Destiny Image contacted me two weeks ago and said, would you write a, a book on prayer? It's the first time I've ever written a book on prayer. Your End Times Prayer Secret. You can find that on my website or on Amazon. Amen. Go get involved and that's going to bless you. The Remnant, Discerning the Remnant. This is starting on Monday. I need you guys to get signed up if you're getting signed up. Talk about what is the remnant. You can watch the first part. The first part's free. The entire series is like $4 a class for the entire series. There's eight classes, something like that. It's $5 a class, $5 a class. It's crazy. What is the remnant? Discerning remnant believers, operating in the remnant anointing, recognizing remnant intercessors, knowing remnant warriors, receiving remnant prophets, seeing the end times remnant church, receiving remnant rewards. Did you know there's rewards for the remnant? Get in on that if it's going to bless you. And then the love challenge. I'm surprised more people have signed up for the remnant than the love challenge. The love challenge is free. You need to do both. This one's not a uh, if or. This is, uh, you need to do both. You need to love challenge and discerning the remnant. Amen. Get involved in what's going to bless you. And if something's free, make sure you sign up for it. You can get on my mailing list at jenniferleclair.org. That'll help you. You can sew on Cash App at dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire, capital J, capital L, capital C. You can use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give 754-701-2161. Text the word pray 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the uh, Venmo. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the mm, P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Amen. Seven reasons why people cheat in relationships. This is a big deal, guys. This is a big deal. Whether you're married or not married, whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship, we're going to have relationship experts come on, talk with us about that. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com. There's just all kind of stuff out there. It's awesome. Get involved in what's going to bless you. Amen. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Have a great day.